uh, welcome to Anne Makes. I'm Anne, and it's time for me to share with you my Dollar Tree haul that I did yesterday. And uh, this is the same day that I'm filming the Dollarama haul that I also did yesterday. And as I mentioned in that video, I went to dollar stores three times this week in a, in a one week period. Uh, yeah, I, I went several times. It's it's unusual for me to do that. And uh, believe it or not, each time I found something that I didn't find at the other store, or I bought something that I had forgotten or something I needed. So anyway, so uh, yeah, and there's, there's always new things showing up at all these stores. So if you're interested in seeing what I got now from Dollar Tree and what was new at the Dollar Tree I went to yesterday, Stay tuned. So, uh, the first thing I want to show you, this is not something that's new at Dollar Tree, uh, but it is something that it's the first time I'm purchasing. It is these bottles of Luminescence uh, Liquid Potpourri, and they come in these big bottles of 33.6 fluid ounces, ounces or one liter. So this is a lot. Uh, for a dollar if you're in the US or a dollar 25 if you're in Canada. So it's a great price uh, The scent this one is apple cinnamon and I Yeah, I do I, I can attest that this truly smells like uh, apple cinnamon combo and This other one which is my favorite is the fresh linen one so uh, this is the one I like to use at this time of year the most and I love to use this in the fall and around uh, the holiday season uh, this, these are the scents I like to have but it is the first time I'm buying these big bottles of liquid potpourri um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use them but I thought for a dollar 25 in Canada in Canada because that's what we pay uh, I can, it's a great deal it's a really good deal I can, could not uh, walk by them again this is a repurchase I just wanted to have it in my stockpile it is bath salts um, that are rose scented I I love the scent of these I also love that they're pink and it looks they look pretty in a container I don't know my bathroom so I got that dollar 25 or a dollar in the US for this 17.6 uh, ounces or 500 grams it's a very good price and speaking of nice things that smell nice my Dollar Tree or the dollar my favorite the Dollar Tree I go to the most had just filled the shelves with a new batch of these candle cafes the the frappes and this one is uh, my favorite scent, the white chocolate frappe, and, uh, or white chocolate frappe. <laughs> and I uh, picked up two more of these. So I don't know if, it, if this is happening at every Dollar Tree, if they're just putting a whole bunch out on the shelves everywhere, but uh, my Dollar Tree just had a whole whack of them again. So I picked up two more. I have used these before, so I bought some again because we were out, we're completely out of these Scrub Buddies 2-in-1 Quick Erasers in the 2-pack. I think these do a really good job. I find that they work just as well as the other name brand ones that are much more expensive than this. And, and here I get two for $1.25. They are slightly thinner. They might not last as long as the other ones, but frankly, I'm the type of person that if I have a heavy duty cleaning job to do with these, I don't really want to keep them afterwards. Um, I kind of toss them, so I'd rather pay $1.25 for these and get two. And I bought two boxes. I had seen other people haul this. And I was like, I didn't see this at my Dollar Tree. I know it's, but lo and behold, yes, they've had this at my Dollar Tree. And apparently it's been there for weeks. I just missed it. 
It, that is so bizarre. But anyway, it is a small colander with the little bowl. And I thought this is per yeah, it's perfect for washing like a little a little uh, basket of strawberries or blueberries if you buy, you know, we have like markets here and a farmers market and every, you know, you could go every day and get some fresh locally picked strawberries or blueberries and you know, you wash them and then you can and eat them. So this will be better than using my bigger colander. And this, my store had these in this green, uh, a blue and a like fuchsia color. So I took green. Also Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree had more of these plates. These are like a staple at my Dollar Tree. They, they always seem to have some, and then when they're gone, they seem to replenish the shell with these. Uh, I guess they're very popular, but I bought some. I will use some probably for paper plates, when, you know, in, on that Friday night that I just don't feel like doing the dishes. Uh, but I also, I wanted these mostly for the print, for the, the design, and to reuse this in some sort of uh, crafting project or mixed media project. I saw several other people uh, haul these large bags of the glass pebbles and I had not seen them at my Dollar Tree but apparently they came out uh, about a week ago with these big bags and there weren't many left by the time I went there yesterday. Uh, but that's okay because I already have a lot of pebbles, but I, I wanted to get one of these because I, these have some colors that I don't have, some of the blues, and it's a really big bag. This is a really good deal. Um, this is, I, I don't know how much more it is compared to the other little bags I've bought there, but this is still a dollar twenty-five or a dollar if you're in the U.S., and there's a lot of glass pebbles in here. So, and these are fun for so many types of DIYs. I have used these in mosaic work. I have made um, decorative magnets with those, uh, little gla decorative glass magnets. I have made pendants, glass pendants. I've used these in mixed media. I, I've used these, of course, as vase fillers. I've used these to decorate plants. Uh, there's so many uses for these things. It's great. So a uh, dollar twenty-five is an excellent price because if you go to some other stores, like major department stores, if you go to major craft stores uh, that sell these, you'll see it's a lot more than what we pay at the Dollar Tree. And now to put my money where my mouth is, ha ha. Okay, um, I was out of mouthwash, and because I saw so many people. Uh, hauling this from in their Dollar Tree hauls on YouTube, I said, well, I am going to give this a try. See, it looks like it's something that other people like. It is the Lavarus Whitening uh, Rinse, and uh, you get, what do you get in here? You get 15 fluid ounces, I believe, uh, it's, yeah, over 640 ml for $1.25. $1.25, I mean... I know the other brand that I usually buy is much more than that. So looking forward to trying this to see uh, if I like it. My Dollar Tree had a lot of these LA color like nail treatment. This one is the Mega Grow Nail tri Treatment Vitamin A and E for maximum growth for your nails and the base coat top coat dries to a high gloss finish and the ultra nail hardener promotes healthy nail growth the rapid dry top coat dries quickly to protect nails And the Super Strength Nail Builder strengthens nails with silk protein. 
So I had purchased uh, some of these last year when they came to Dollar Tree here and I had not seen them for the whole year. And so uh, they had them yesterday and I got one of each, even though I thought that I might still have some of these left at home. But I thought I will not pass these up because for a dollar, this is an excellent price considering we pay so much more for this kind of stuff here in Canada. And I really need to work on strengthening my nails again, especially because I did a lot of damage to some of them uh, last week. So this is good timing for me. Also new at uh, the Dollar Tree that I go to were more of these baby lips. They have this Maybelline uh, baby lip, lips, apparently it's a limited edition. I, it is celebrating, I guess, 100 years of Maybelline. And this one is supposed to be in uh, raw, raw red. I did not know about this, so uh, I'm going to try it. I like Baby Lips uh, Lip Moisturizer. It, it does a very nice job. And uh, also the Baby Lips peppermint flavor with SPF 20, which I think is really important to have SPF 20. I like to protect myself, especially when I'm working outside in the garden or just hanging out outside. So I got this one. And I know that this is a really good price at um, $1.25 compared to what we would pay at the department store or the um, pharmacy or drugstore. Of course, no trip of mine to the Dollar Tree would be complete without picking up some treats for my guys. So I got these Pizzelles for uh, my hubby. I say my hubby because the last time I bought the box, I didn't even get to eat one. He ate all this stuff. He really likes these. So I got some more. And oh, I had not seen this in such a long time. And uh, we love these. So I bought two packages of the fudge covered graham crackers. Graham cookies, graham crackers, I don't know. Graham cookies. These are so yummy. So, two of those. And wouldn't you know it, there was a baby lips uh, in the bag there. And this one, oh yes, baby lips Dr. Rescue. I'm not, this is the first time I see this one. It is in coral, coral crave, coral crave and it provides 12 hours hydration. It is the medicated uh, lip balm. So this is good if you have really extremely like chapped lips. It provides uh, relief and moisture and protection afterwards. I got two stickers, two different sticker packs. I got this one, the hopes and dreams by the Jot brand, nine in here. They have a little bit of dimension, they're like chipboard. And this one, which is love is all you need, sweet memory, believe. I think they're very pretty. And lovely to use on a card, scrapbook page, so many, so many uses for these. I got another one of these just because I thought I should. It was the only one left on, on the stand there and I thought, you know, took so long for me to see these at Dollar Tree that I'm hauling another one of these. Because I don't know if they'll ever get any more. I really like this nail sticker uh, style so I got myself another one to add to my nail sticker collection. And I picked up this one. I hadn't noticed this one before. Maybe maybe it's new. I'm not sure if it's new or just I hadn't paid attention and noticed it. So I got this one. I was like, oh, that, look, that looks like fun. That looks like something some crafty person such as myself would like to have a different color on every nail. Oh, and thank you, um, Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa, uh, when she showed a, a video about a trip she did to... Dollar Tree uh, 
these were at her Dollar Tree. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, I have to look to see if my Dollar Tree gets these because I am an avid user of Post-its. And I love these big size Post-it notes because I write all the time. I keep notes. I have Post-its all over the place. And I just... This, this is a size that I really like to use in my planners. Or, oh gosh, I, I use these all the time. So lucky, luckily uh, I saw that video and when I was at Dollar Tree yesterday, they had just apparently put these on the hooks. So I got one like this, which looks like a cross stitch. And this one, which has like a peachy border with the uh, flowers in the bottom corner. I picked up the self ink stamp that is the little banners here. I was I couldn't remember if I had this one because I've hauled most of these self inking stamps already, but for some reason I thought I had, did not have this one already. So I picked it up. And if I already have it, I'll just gift it to somebody else. No big deal. I got uh, the last of the white fluffy bows that I saw at my Dollar Tree and they had some red ones left so I picked up two more I just think these are the potential for using these is great uh, of course they're you could use them as gift bows but like I said before these make great Christmas decorations as well uh, I thought Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree still had a lot of willow wreaths. Boy, was I wrong. Somebody went in there and bought a lot of them. There were a lot the other day, just like within a week. I was there and they had so many, like so, so many. And then yesterday, there was not much left. So I guess they're very popular. And this time I got two of the smaller ones because I had not hauled the smaller ones the other day. So I got two of these. And you know, those planner stickers and items that everybody's been going gaga over and they're showing up at the Dollar Tree. Well, guess what? My Dollar Tree finally had them yesterday. I found I found the, uh, the planner line stuff at another Dollar Tree uh, the other day, but my Dollar Tree did not have them. But then yesterday I go and lo and behold, they have them. So I picked up uh, one more of the this one here of the 200 something count of the little stickers and then and one more of this 80 count sticker pack I do not remember seeing this one though at the other Dollar Tree that I was at so I got a couple of these ones at my doll from my Dollar Tree and these ones look more like strips, like like tape strips or washi, and there's these little labels. And there is a count of 80 stickers in here. So I've got a couple of those. So I don't know if you guys have seen that one at your stores, but maybe there's more stuff I, that I don't know about. So I picked up a few of the Main Street Wall Creations got this one here uh, it's the one that says uh, the the best way to predict the future is to create it and yes I think we we have a great say in uh, our own destiny so I thought that was perfect this one is home sweet home And then I got a few of these ones, which are just some symbols, shapes, emblems, whatever, uh, because I just recently ordered uh, a new duvet cover. And if I remember correctly, the design on the cover resembles this. But I think it, 
I don't remember my design being black though. I think the design I ordered is like brown. So I don't know if this will still work in uh, my bedroom, but it might. And if it doesn't work with my decor in my bedroom, it'll go into a craft project. I got the last three of the little stuff. I got the last three of the little succulents my Dollar Tree had. Listen, I've been good. Uh, these came out a long time ago. I bought one of each at the time. And I, every week I, that I go in there, I've been slowly buying. I didn't buy them all, so I left them. I left everybody the chance to buy some. And uh, this week there were three left, and I decided, you know what, I've been so good, I'm buying all three. I'm. I'm, I'm a little sad that I haven't seen all the pumpkins that all of you have been hauling from your Dollar Trees. Maybe they just haven't arrived at my Dollar Tree, or maybe I missed the one day that they were there and somebody else bought them all out. I don't know. But yesterday, I found these two. That's it. These two, um, I guess they're faux plaster, kind of plasticky wood. I don't know what these are, but, uh these two so I bought them because I love pumpkins and I hope to be able to buy more pumpkins I bought I bought some last I do buy some a little bit every year so I'm okay I do have some pumpkins but I would really like some more and I went a little cuckoo over the uh, florals the fall florals and I, you know, I should have bought some more when they came out last week with these because now there's not much left so, but I did still find some very nice ones. I really like the globe flower ones. So I got some of these in the red. And golden yellow. And a couple in this cream color. They only These were the last two left in the cream. So I bought these. Also, I got these berries. And the, these they had a lot of left, but in different colors. But this is the color I wanted for my arrangements. Of course, I got some mums in this lovely creamy color. Also, this uh, creamy peachy color. Of course, I got some of the traditional um, maple leaves. And you know, they have. Oh, they also had some very nice uh, leaves and flowers that. Uh, were of, made of canvas and uh, they're really pretty too but I just wanted to have these ones oh and then I saw one lonely little purpley type of globe flower and I said you're coming home with me so, I got these uh, these are like dried up cattails so Thought the color would be really nice. Really, I got some of the wheat in this uh, golden color. They had others that had like a really orangey leaf, or yeah, I guess it's a leaf or a strand. And I just thought they didn't look very real. Uh, I see wheat here growing in hay, and it just didn't look that orange to me. So <laughs> I thought this one looked pretty good for uh, a fake wheat it looked pretty good so yeah that is my dollarama haul with all my floral bits and my all my goodies i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up i really appreciate that don't forget to like comment because i reply to all the comments as you may know and share and uh, who knows, maybe I'm at 500 now or I'm, I'm getting close and clo closer and closer every day. So I hope to get there. And until next time, take care of yourself and I'll see you after the next haul. Bye.